Viewer discretion is advised. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl. There you have it, child. That's why I feel like I'm the T. I feel like I'm the T because I work at being the T. <laughs> like, no shade. I'm not the T just because a bunch of bitches like me and live for me because we all homegirls. I'm the T because I'm the motherfucking T. And that's just sad. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, that's just what it is. People legit in the world love to live for food. Love, 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 love to live for food. Love to live for your bald head home girl that do bald head home shit. Like, like it's like it's clear that I'm I'm working at being the sea soldier. Let me be the sea. <laughs> Like, give me that, give me my flower. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, honey, yes God. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, tap the notification bell, that way you'll be updated every time I'm uploading something new. Girl, if I don't fucking die first, stupid bitch. And bitch. <laughs> If you aren't following me on Instagram by now, shame on you, honey. Okay. Um, at YBNT. Child, this hold on. Fuck up my whole shit. At YBNT.TV. Okay. And my business page, at Tegan Naturals. All right. And if you would like to support the platform in a monetary way, please feel free to do so. I will put all of those links in the description box for easy access. Yeah. Girl, before we begin, I want to say this. Turning signals, hello God, they're important, bitch. Do, you, do we know why? They're, let me take y'all bitches back to driving school real quick. Hello God, because we know some of y'all probably done slid a 20, hello God, or a $100 bill to the examiner to go ahead and pass your dusty ass real quick. So you didn't have to go through all of the things. And mind you, I was also a bus driver for almost six years. So I take road safety to a whole other fucking level, bitch. It may not seem like it, but I do. All right? Turning signals are so bitches know that you are about to merge over to the next lane. Hello, God, that you're about to make a turn, bitch. So that you don't end up killing somebody, bitch. See what I fucking mean? Come on. Come on. And what kills me is these fucking states get hundreds of millions of dollars a year allocated for their fucking construction, their maintenance. These bitches are still trying to respray paint these white lines so bitches know. And they got signs and have these signs for a lifetime talking about some uneven lanes. Bitch, you need to make them even already with all that damn money y'all are getting. Okay? Period, bitch. Now, moving on. Now, what did I tell y'all about that starved, depraved, endangered species looking ass bitch, Jason Lee, girl? What did I tell you, girl? Armand Wiggins, girl. You thought you had a friend, girl. You thought you had the key to the city, girl. The kids were gonna open the doors for you, girl, of Hollywood Unlocked. Hello, God. And you were going to reign supreme in the media world, girl. You were used. You were abused. And you were tossed out like trash, girl. Armand, girl, I'm sorry, but I don't feel sorry for you because the signs have always been there, girl. His best friend, Melissa Ford, got in a fucking almost fatal accident, girl. And he couldn't be there for his home, girl. Mm. What makes you think he was going to be there for you, bitch? You and your horse teeth, bitch. <laughs> bitch. What made you think that he was going to be there for you, girl? You were a means to an end, girl. You know? What did it to April Jones, girl? Used her for the cloud of love and hip-hop. Then when she's like, girl, I don't have time for this anymore. He called her all kinds of whores and bitches and nasty cum sluts, right? Girl. Gio, one of the first male hosts that he had when Hollywood Unlocked became locked, 
girl, okay? Into the, into the tea, girl. <laughs> Tried that man sexually and all kinds of shit. That man ended up quitting. Badmouthed him like a motherfucker and called him unprofessional. Wow. Girl, please. The list goes on and on and on and on. Nikki wouldn't take the bait. So he stopped sucking her ass and then he started sucking the ass of Cardi B child. Hello, God. He's just a fence hopper. You know, just like polar bears, girl. They, they go where the food is at. Amen? Like every predator, girl, they go where the food is at, honey. And once they've eaten up all of the native wildlife, girl, they move on. They migrate, girl. To greener pastures, girl. Where there's a more abundance of food sources, girl. And they leave nothing in their wake. Pillaged. Dried up land, girl. Sucked of all of its nutrients, girl. Used and abused. Armand, why are you so fucking surprised, girl, that this has now happened to you? <laughs> But no, YB is crazy, girl. She's mad, girl, because of that raggedy bitch and what he did to me many moons ago. No, I told you every opportunity I will stay on all of the necks of Jason Lee, girl. I don't care if that neck is pressed down, shaken, and that bitch is runneth over, girl. This fucking 12 foot, 12, hold on, what size is my shoe up? 12 inches, girl, is going to stay on your mother for 12 feet. I wear a size 12, bitch. It's, it, girl, forgive my retardation, girl, but you know what I mean. This size 12 is going to stay on that rubber neck, bitch. Mm. So for those of you that don't know, honey, I guess Jason Lee has been subtweeting, you know, negative things about Armand Wiggins' child. And Armand Wiggins finally blew a head gasket, girl, and was like, fuck it. Me and my teeth, bitch, we have to stand up for truth and justice, girl. And we have to let the girls know the nasty, filthy, raggedy bitch ways of a Jason Lee girl. Child, stop what I say. Now you are feeling it, girl. You are now truly understanding the clout chaser the raggedy bitch, the evil girl, the succubus kind of energy that dwells within a starved, depraved ass, instinct ass bitch like Jason. Girl, why are we so surprised? Track records, patterns of history are everything, girl. Let me tell you, it shows you, it shows you the roadmap of where you're gonna end up, bitch, if you keep fucking around with that bitch. So no, I don't feel sorry. I'm relishing in this because now we, let me say this real quick. Not everyone is lying. Not everyone is lying. The same way when we talk about Nicki Minaj, Thousands of people that don't even know each other, that won't ever even come in contact with each other really, say the same thing about you. Well, it must be true. Jason Lee has proved time and time again, let's be honest here, what has he done for the culture? Other than reinforce, hello God, the bullshit that gays can't be trusted. They're, we're messy. We're nasty punks. We hit girls. We disrespect women. We scam. Girl, as soon as Jason Lee, when this pandemic hit, I told y'all, as soon as he started invading the YouTube space, stealing from other content creators, Using them. Why are we now, hello God, bitch, so surprised when the succubus himself has sucked the space dry? 
Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. Hard head make a soft ass. Hard teeth make a soft ass, bitch. Shout out to our mom Wiggins girl. Hopefully you now realize your power. Cause minus my shade, girl, congratulations on all your success. But be mindful of who you collaborate with. Be mindful who you call mentor, bitch. Again, because of the access these people have, because of the so-called notoriety that these people have, we worship them. We put them on pe these high-ass pedestals. Child, anyway, moving on, girl. Speaking of fraudulence, fakery, and, and um, fuckery, hello, God. P. Diddy, I gotta get at you again. So during the BET Awards, they had this thing. This must be new because I didn't know they had this. Um, best social media platform or whatever it's called, girl. And it was up against Drink Champs and Carisha Please. Didn't Carisha Please just come out? Literally, I think they only have like three or four episodes. They just came out. Now, mind you, Diddy owns Revolt. TV, which is the broadcasting, um, you know, network girl that does um, drink champs and all the many, all of the damn podcasts that you can think of, girl. Um, Diddy owns that shit. So I find it funny, and a lot, I'm not the only one here that believe that the game was rigged because we know that P Diddy has an intimate relationship with Young Miami girl, Miss Carisha. Please. And although I do love her podcast, Drink Champ should have been the only one in that category that won, bitch. Let me just tell the truth. I talk about Drink Champs on this platform a lot because I love the history of music, of the arts, girl, entertainment industry, all of that stuff. I love to hear the journey of a lot of the legendary girls. The platform does not discriminate. Patti LaBelle was on there, girl. They just had Kanye West's controversial episode on there, girl. We're going to talk about that a little later. They've had a lot. Snoop, girl, I think Snoop was on there. Mike Tyson, girl, all of the, anyone you can think of that has graced our history, girl, in the culture when it comes to music, entertainment, athletic type of shit. Drain Chance has had the pleasure and the honor to have the kids on, on their platform. And shout out to Nori and DJ EFN because they handle shit. They're doing their thing, girl. You know? But P. Diddy, you know you rigged it. We know you rigged it. There should have been no reason Carisha Please was even in the category. Maybe for next year. Okay, moving on. I also want to talk about Lotto, Nicki Minaj, and Kodak Black. So when Lotto won, I guess, best song of the year, or whatever child, for Big Energy, Kodak Black was also in the category for Super Glim Gremlin, which we might also add that Super Gremlin was remixed by Lotto, and she slayed his motherfucking decrepit mouth ass. Okay? Because if you ask me, girl, I used to like Kodak Black as a rapper, but just as a human being, you can just tell that he's touched. He's mentally disturbed, girl. He suffers from a lot of ailments, girl. You can just tell. You can just tell. And fuck the fact that he's also built <laughs> like a, a mangedass Teletubby, bitch. You know? Drag through the forest of darkness, girl, and beat with every living tree possible. Okay? He had the nerve to get his old ass up there and talk all this shit about Lotto, talking about, I understand that y'all are with this female empowerment shit, but my song was better, basically. And basically, fuck this mutt. That's what he called the girl a mutt. A mutt-ass bitch, to be exact. And I remember, hello God, when Lotto's album, when she was doing her press tour for her album, 777, she revealed on The Breakfast Club that one of the feature artists on her album, a male artist, wanted her to fuck for the free feature. 
we know how these men do, girl. Um, especially when we see a lot of these female artists not really going anywhere when they lean on the understanding of a man. The men just want to fuck them. Like, look at Danny Lynn. She probably got with the baby because the baby promised her fame and fortune and glory, child, in exchange for puss. And that never really happened. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Lotto exposed Kodak Black's ass in that moment, basically. Because she only had a handful of um, male rappers that featured on her album. And when everybody else's name was X'd out of the conversation, there was one name left behind. And that was this super gremlin built bitch, Kodak Black, in his disrespectful tongue. Girl. <sighs> Haters are gonna hate, child. And it sucks that men, most of all, are the reason why women, more specifically black women, are considered the major oppressed in the world. But apparently Kodak Black doesn't have big dick energy. Goodbye, girl. See you never. Get out of here. You smell like a gremlin, bitch. You look like you smell like all kinds of creatures of the night, girl. You stink, bitch. Anyway, moving forward. Kanye West, girl. You're back in the news, girl, for your controversial, you know, chaotic, disturbed mouth. Let me just say this, and I always keep conversations about Kanye West very brief because I don't like to entertain fools. I don't like to entertain fuckery fakery and fraudulence and obviously someone who is touched girl and I'm not talking about touched by God as he thinks that he is y'all have to get through your thick skulls that something is severely wrong with this man on every fucking level of life I want to say this real quick this man is not rich he is poor he is broke don't let this richest black man in America shit fool you. Kanye West is not a billionaire. I don't care how many trash bags he sells to the girls and labels it as easy. I don't care how many fucking pollution resistant boots he sells the girls. Those Ghostbuster ass boots, girl, and those horrible slides that look like they can defy gravity, girl, they'll just float you the fuck away. This man is not a billionaire. Do not be mistaken. You know how I know he's not a billionaire? Because as much as he likes to flodge, right? Forbes is pretty damn accurate when it comes to who the next that bitch is. That rich bitch. Those rich bitches. You know? And because his narcissism knows no bounds, you have to invite your financials. Get over, bitch. You have to basically give up your financials in order for a... Uh, a place like Forbes to render their verdict on who has the greatest coin of them all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who has the greatest coin of them all? And bitch, Kanye West never makes the Forbes list. So therefore, that is the one giveaway that I know for sure that you're not coined up like you claim to be, you trash bag wearing bitch. Now, I want to also talk about something else. When people have to always bring up their rich friends, their famous celebrity friends, and always use them in conversation. Oh, I was on the phone with Carl Lagerfeld last week and we talked about la 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 la. Oh, I was on the phone with Tupac from heaven, bitch, and we was la 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 la. Biggie Smalls even joined in the conversation and we were just laughing about. Anyone who has to continue to bring up all of these other names also let you know what's coming out their mouth is 100% motherfucking cat, bitch. You have to lean on the success and the glory of all these other names because you have none. You have no stories of your own. You have no triumphant moments of your own. There was a lot of things in that Drink Champs interview that just had me. And it's being said that they recently had to take the episode down because of all of his hateful, spiteful, ridiculous rhetoric spewing from that nasty mouth of his girl. I don't know why Kanye West, he serves a halitosis tea. 
he serves like his breath is dry as hell. He's out here serving Jakaris, bitch. Okay. Girl, please. Dragging the Kardashians name. Dragon girl. Let me tell you something about this man. Child. He wants to be God so much, girl. He's really going to start believing it. Come on, y'all. I want this light, girl. I'm tired of driving and shit. Uh, he wants to be God so much, girl. He wants y'all to fall before him. Another thing that he said is that he basically cussed Nori and the kids out because he wanted them to stand up for him because Jamie Lee Curtis is out here saying that he doesn't need to have his kids anymore. Why the fuck do you care what Jamie Lee Curtis says about you, girl? She's still running away from her fictitious, murderous brother, Michael Myers, bitch, after all these years. Ha, <laughs> bitch. Period. But you got mad at, at black people because we did not stand for you when the Kardashians supposedly kidnapped your children. Um... Aren't you a billionaire? Don't you have all this influence? Don't you have all of these connections, girl? Don't you know everyone whose feet are planted within success and in billions and trillions of dollars, girl? Don't you have all of these things and you know all of these people, girl? Isn't Trump your friend, girl? <laughs> Aren't these white lives matter your friend, girl? But you're mad at us because who are we? We're not standing with the fool. Kim is right to keep her children away from your decrepit mouth ass. Something is, I would not trust you around a fucking squirrel, bitch, let alone actual people. But what kills me is you guys still regard him as, as this thing. And that's why his ego is so inflated. Because in the same breath of calling this man fucked up and crazy, you guys worship him for his intellect, his genius and his so-called intellect. You can't be that fucking smart, bitch. And you better be careful before they Wendy Williams, Britney Spears your ass. And if they can prove that you're unfit mentally, girl, they're going to seize your coin. Trust. You talk about, they could just kill me. Don't nobody gonna kill you, girl, because you're gonna kill yourself. And you wanna celebrate a Candace Owens, the sellout bitch that she is. Girl, please. Y'all really love this man, girl. And poor Nori had to take the episode down because I guarantee the Kardashian was choking the life out of his ass, child. Girl. Y'all gonna learn. Stop leaning on the understanding of fools. Kanye is not the same, girl. When mama passed on, girl, with her stupid ass, dumb bitch. We already talked about how I feel about that, so I don't want nobody getting in my comments. I'm saying, oh my God, how are you gonna talk about his mother like that? Because she was a dumb bitch. She killed herself because of her stupidity. And you know what kills me? She had all these PhDs and doctorates and all this shit, but you didn't do your due diligence. <laughs> you didn't do what you were supposed to do, girl. But you have all of these degrees and you have all of this knowledge and intellect, girl, but you died because you didn't want to follow simple doctor's instructions. And then Ye lost his motherfucking mind, girl, right after that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't trust nobody who can't stay on topic. I don't trust nobody who can't fully answer a question. If you have to give me all of these roll-arounds, girl, these wrap-arounds, girl, these, these different stories. Nori and them didn't ask you none of this shit that you was talking about, girl. Kanye West loves to run the interviews. No, in my platform, bitch, I control the team. If you can't abide by that, then get the fuck on out of here. Period. 
Anyway, y'all, that's all I have for this video. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go and take me a nap. I love y'all. Be blessed and never stress. Child, engage in the commentary. What y'all think? I know I cussed a lot in this video, but girl, I'm just over it, girl. Whatever, you know? Yeah. Anyway, be blessed and never stressed, y'all. Okay, remember the health is wealth, girl. Whew, bitch.